everybody, it's Paige, and today's video is going to be a full face of first impressions. I have a ton of new makeup that I'm going to be trying out in today's video. Like always, everything that I'm using today will be linked in the description box in case you are interested in trying any of these products out. I'm super excited for today's video. I feel like I haven't done a full face of first impressions in a few weeks, so that's, that's a longer break than I normally take. So if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy, and let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna try out the clip technique today <laughs> to see if this will help me keep my hair out of my face as I'm doing my makeup. These are just little like clips. I think I got these in a PR package, um, but I'm pretty sure you can find similar clips on Amazon. They're supposed to like not crease your hair, so we'll see how that goes. Speaking of hair, I'm actually getting my hair done in two days and I'm so excited. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> to start things off, we're gonna go in with the One Size Secure the Blur Mag Makeup Magnet Primer. I actually just received this in PR and it was my first PR package from them, which I was really excited about. Here is what the texture of the primer looks like. It kind of has like a clearish white gel look to it <laughs> and it says that this is an ultra blurring primer it's pore refining with niacinamide that mattifies and evens out skin's texture as it grips makeup for flawless application and enhanced wear that sounds amazing so let's go ahead and apply some of this and see how it feels hmm that's interesting. <laughs> it's like a mix of a cooling gel and a silicone primer. It definitely has a little bit of that like slippery feel, but it also feels more like a moisturizing type product, which is pretty interesting. Um, it has a tiny bit of a cooling sensation, which I enjoy, and it actually feels pretty good. It doesn't have too much of like a grippiness or anything. It really like absorbed into my skin and I like that it's not too oily or greasy. So, so far I'm impressed. For foundation, hopefully this is my shade. I really have no idea. This is the Sephora Best Skin Ever foundation. And it's a long wear foundation. It says anti-pollution. And I've heard great things about this product. I have the shade 17.5N. If anything, this is gonna be too dark for me, so let's see if we can, if we did a good job picking out our shade. But here's what the bottle looks like. I've seen several influencers talk about this, um, and I've heard really good things, so. I like the packaging. Let's go ahead and pump some out. I feel like that color will be okay. I'm just going to apply that with my diamond sponge from Blinged Brushes, and let's see. Hmm. The shade's not bad. <laughs> that actually looks really nice. This says that it is a medium buildable coverage for the look of naturally perfect skin. I've actually really been liking more of like a natural base, like more medium kind of coverage. Um, I don't know why, I just think it looks nice and pretty. It's not, you know, it doesn't always have to be over the top, which is why I've really been enjoying this Urban Decay Hydro Maniac Tinted uh, Glow Hydrator Foundation type thing. That is also a medium coverage foundation and it has a beautiful natural finish and I just really, really like it. So I hope this is similar. Here's what one coat of the foundation looks like on my skin. As you can see, it did a really good job covering up redness, but you can still see like some of my breakouts through this, which makes sense. I am gonna go in with like a half a pump more and just see if I can build it a little bit since it does say that it's buildable. I'm gonna try to build it up in my forehead area because I have a little bit more redness there than I would like. Same with my nose. So far so good. It has a really nice finish. It has a little bit of a shine. I'm not sure if that would kind of like set down. Um, I am gonna set this with powder once we put concealer on, but I would say the finish is a pretty natural finish. A little bit more on the glowy side as of right now, um, but it looks nice. For concealer, I'm going in with the Revlon Colorstay Full Coverage Concealer. I don't remember if I've used this or not, so um, I think I may have used it once, but we're gonna go ahead and use it again. This is in the shade 005 Fair. That blended out really nicely under my eye. I'm really liking it. It's nice and brightening. I would say it gives off pretty good coverage. It's not like full, full coverage, but 
it definitely gives me some nice coverage and brightening at the same time. For powder, I actually don't have a new setting powder to use, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with the one size powder since this is the primer that we use today. I do enjoy this powder. Um, I feel like it's a little bit weird. I've said this multiple times, but the texture of it is very clumpy. I'll see if I can kind of show you. Um, but the powder comes out in like chunks <laughs> and I've seen people um, with similar experiences comment on my videos and <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. Like I haven't seen it hinder the performance of the product. It's just really weird. It's like it's a thick powder. So I'm just going to take my damp sponge and set my T-zone and under eye area. And then I'm going to go in with a brush and dust it over the rest of my face. Okay, so my under eye area is looking incredibly cakey. Like, it's so bad. It is dry and cakey. I'm going to try to show you guys. So let's see if we can zoom in on the cakiness of my under eye right here. I really hope you guys can see that on camera. You can see my under eyes are like yellow and then like right here it's super dry and like thick looking it's very bizarre it's on both sides so not a fan of the concealer at least with that powder combo i don't know that was that is not good we're gonna have to just you know move past it and hope that the rest of the makeup turns out okay so for bronzer, I'm actually going in with the Hourglass Luminous Bronze Light. Again, I don't remember if I've used this or not. It's hard for me to not use the new Jaclyn Cosmetics Blush and Bronzer Duos. This is literally all that I've used since I received those in PR, like every single time, no joke, that I've done my makeup. So um, I'm going to go in with my F22. Actually, let's switch it up today and use a few new brush it's not new but like different brushes let's go in with the f3 this is the og the og bronzer brush this was like the bronzer blush brush from bling brushes oh my god that's so hard to say that i fell in love with so we're gonna go in with this and warm up the face i got this product from ulta this bronzer i had some rewards and like um i think a couple gift cards from christmas so um i decided to splurge on <laughs> a few products from hourglass this being one of them and honestly it looks beautiful i feel like the jack and cosmetics bronzers kind of remind me of this formula like they're extremely soft and natural looking um if i had to compare something to the jacqueline ones i would say hourglass products would be most similar um i feel like this is looking a little bit orangey on my forehead but it's not looking too bad i don't think it's a beautiful product like i love the swirled texture <laughs> that's in here um again this is in the shade luminous bronze light so for blush i actually just did a haul and i showed the ColourPop valentine's day collection so i'm gonna use one of the blushes from that collection since i didn't get to do a dedicated review let's see if i can even open this this is incredibly difficult to open i had to pry my box cutter in between to get that open this blush is absolutely beautiful this is in the shade kiss and tell so let's go ahead and stick with the silver set by the way you can use code page for 10 percent off of blinged brushes this is the f4 and this is a nice angled br 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 <laughs> brush oh my god so i'm just gonna kind of focus this on the higher part of my cheek i've been loving doing this oh my gosh this color is stunning i love that that is beautiful this is i knew that this shade was gonna be amazing um oh my gosh that is powdery there's like powder all over <laughs> the rim of that from me tapping in my brush but yeah out of the three blushes in the collection i knew this one would be my favorite 
it is so pretty i love it i wish it was a little bit more pigmented but i mean i feel like i kind of like love blush a little too much so it's probably okay that it's not um for brows i'm actually really excited because i'm gonna be trying out a new brow pencil this is from huda beauty this is the hashtag bomb brows micro shade brow pencil i have this in the shade five medium brown i picked this up from sephora and here is what it looks like. I like the packaging. It's really cute. So on one side, you have a brow pencil that is super, super fine. And then on the other side, you have a spoolie, which looks like that. So that's nice to see. I'm just going to go ahead and comb through my brows and then... Hopefully the shade is okay. This tip looks super precise, which I personally like. So I'm just going to kind of like outline the top edge of my brow and then fill it in. I would say the color is working out perfectly. I actually love the shade of it. It is so tiny that it's almost like difficult to use. Um, at least for like what I do. Ooh, that that's nice. I'm actually applying quite a bit of pressure and the tip isn't breaking, which is good. Um, it's also pretty pigmented. It's not like super waxy or anything, um, but it's also not like you have to like scratch at your eyebrow to get any pigment. So I really like that. I think that was really nice. Um, I don't know that I like it more than like some other brow pencils like I really love the hourglass one I that's like my favorite one if I'm gonna like splurge um but this seems pretty nice too to set my brows we're gonna try this out this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow freeze it is a brow styling wax so basically you take your spoolie in there and then you use um that to set your eyebrows so I'm gonna go ahead and take my E28 from my collaboration with Bling Precious, which is a spoolie. And I'm actually gonna kind of bend the spoolie a little bit and then we're gonna pick up some product. So we have some clear gel on the spoolie and then I'm actually going to wipe that on the back of my hand just to kind of like coat it evenly like this, like kind of rolling it and then we will go in <laughs> onto the brow. Holy crap. I need to trim my eyebrows. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to kind of go upward motions. <laughs> Look at the difference. Um, and then I actually like to sort of tilt the brow hairs like back so that it doesn't look too crazy. I will leave the front few kind of sticking more up, but I don't know. I, I can't do the full fluffy brow. It's just not my, I feel like my brows are just not, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not there yet, so. Um, but yeah, this is definitely like <laughs> gluing them down. It, 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 it It's weird. It's not like, I, I feel like these are almost like more inconvenient to use than like a clear brow gel but at the same time you do get a unique look with sort of like brow waxes or brow soaps so I don't hate it I don't know that it's gonna be my new go-to but um I don't hate it I also have these ones which are so cute these are from guilty cosmetics they are a small business and they have these little brow jams which I think are the cutest things ever and you just spray a little setting spray in there and then you stick your spoolie spin it around you kind of wipe it off on the back of your hand and you do the same thing I really like these um, I recommend them I'll try to remember to link those down below I have a few different scents I also have the watermelon one and then I have, I think this one is bubblegum, bubblegum. <laughs> but they also have like an unscented one, which is like unsweetened. And I think they have a few others now. Um, but those are really nice and I definitely recommend those. If you're into the whole like brow soap 
brow wax type thing um so anyway <laughs> moving on to eyes i actually have this little eye quad that i'm really excited to try out this is from revolution pro it's the ultimate eye look palette and it says it's a combination of complementing shadows in a jewel encrusted palette this is in the shade diamonds and pearls here is the packaging i think this is so cute i ordered this off the ulta website and here are the shadows they look so beautiful so i'm going to take a fluffy crease brush this is the e3 from the silver set and i'm going to go in with this light kind of beigey color and i'm going to put this in my crease i just realized that i did not set my eyelids or uh prime my eyelids rather so um, I, <laughs> I guess we'll see how this goes. So far, I'm getting pretty good payoff. It's definitely a lighter kind of taupey beige shade, but I'm definitely getting it to show up. I'm layering it up a bit. It's blending out super easily, and it's also a nice buildable shade, which I like. Then I'm going to go into the darker matte shade right here, and I'm gonna, just going to take that same brush, and I'm going to like tap my brush into it like this and then I'm going to tap that into my outer corner and I will also kind of bring that into my crease just a little bit like focusing on the outer part of my eye um, and then just slowly building that pigment up by going back into that shade. Next I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to go into this gold shade here which looks so insane. <gasps> Look at that! And I'm just going to uh, press this all over the lid. Oh my gosh. That is beautiful. It's like so flaky in a good way. <laughs> wow. It has really nice texture. There is a little bit of fallout that I'm seeing. Hopefully I can just kind of wipe that away. But that is beautiful. It's like almost feels wet in a way even though it's not it's just extremely like soft and metallic and then i'm gonna go in with an e22 which is this tiny little like precision blending brush and i'm gonna go into the lighter metallic like the champagne shade right here and then i'm going to press that on my inner corner and then i'm also going to put some of that on my brow bone as well for highlighter i'm going to go in with this jouet molten glow highlighter i bought this from the sephora website because of laura lee she talked about how much she loves this and i was like well if laura lee likes it then i need it so <laughs> um i bought it it came in a little duo it was like this plus this little brush which I don't think I'm ever gonna use that, <laughs> but um, I still knew that I needed to get it. And I think this was the only way that you could purchase this. It's like a face and body highlight. So I think that brush is more so for like body highlight usage. <laughs> um, but so far this is looking so pretty. It's super bright. It has a little bit of like a champagne gold undertone and it's blending into the skin really nicely. Um, I really like this it's not too intense but it still gives you a nice shine for mascara I'm gonna go ahead and try out this one from Revlon this is the so fierce big bad lash mascara they did send this to me in PR a little bit ago and oh, oh my gosh look at that brush all right let's see how this goes Here's what the mascara looks like compared to no mascara. That looks extremely, extremely good. That was just one quick coat. And I'm guessing this is a volumizing mascara. <laughs> um, big bad lash. So um, I feel like it gave my lashes some nice volume, but also gave them a nice bit of length and like fullness. So I'm really liking that. I feel like it's a nice balance. It's not like extreme one way or the other and then finally to finish things off i'm gonna go in with this kaja lip product this is the gloss shot in the shade milk tea i'm really excited to try this out um, they sent me a few different shades in this one by far looks like my favorite they're actually all really pretty like nude type shades and i think there's a clear one but this one was just like oh it was screaming my name it looks like there's a little bit of sparkle in there 
I have no idea what this formula is like, so ooh, let's go ahead and see. I can hear the dog above me running around barking. <laughs> anyway, this is insanely glossy. Like, do y'all see that? <laughs> Holy crap. It looks wet. Like, it's so shiny. I mean, it is wet because it's a gloss. I am getting a little bit of a, like, stringiness. So, let me just kind of, like, dab off a little bit. I definitely went in with quite a bit of product, so... I think that might be why it has a little bit a little bit of a stick to it but it's not super sticky or goopy or anything like that but it is a thicker gloss with a little bit of a stickiness but it looks beautiful it's definitely a sheerer formula um, and I've been loving glosses <laughs> so I can tell that I'm going to get a lot of use out of this so I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with some setting spray this is just the Lilo B glow face mist and then I will be back for final thoughts all right you guys so here is the finished look I think it turned out really nice I feel really fresh and natural and pretty it's sort of like an everyday glam kind of look but like still like a toned down glam I love how everything turned out aside from the concealer I feel like the concealer was a huge no um, the primer seems really nice I don't think it was anything spectacular like I don't think I'm gonna go to like make this my new go-to primer or anything but I feel like it worked really well the foundation looks really nice as well like I love the coverage that it gives and the shade match actually ended up being really good by the way this is in the shade 17.5 I think yeah 17.5 neutral so if you are interested in my shade that's what it is the concealer I think is a big no for me at least paired with the powder that I used I definitely will continue trying it out and seeing how it works with other powders but so far that was not didn't have the best experience with that um, blush bronzer highlight all turned out really well the eyeshadow I really really like this little eye quad I think this is amazing I really particularly like the more like metallic shades like especially this gold one this is freaking beautiful so I think this was a nice find um, the lip gloss also is really nice as well um, I wonder if it has a scent I can't really tell it might have a scent but if it does it's extremely faint and like I can't even really smell it so um, I think this is a beautiful lip product and I think that it needs to be a little bit tackier in order to like maintain that shine over a long period of time which I think is why it just has a little bit of like a grip to it but again it's not anything bad or uncomfortable so I'm a big fan of that. I think the mascara is beautiful. That's one of my favorite products from today. The So Fierce Big Bad Lash Mascara. Amazing. Um, and then the brow products. I think they both turned out really well. Uh, like, I think they both performed nicely. I love the shade of this. Again, this is in the shade 5. Medium brown. And I think the brow wax thing is definitely, like trendy at the moment and has been for a while i don't know that this is going to be my new go-to like technique i just i love a good clear brow gel to keep my brow hairs in place but if you like a good fluffy brow i think this is a nice product for that so overall i feel like things turned out pretty pretty well um and even though my under eye and nose look atrocious <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell on camera and the setting spray that I used actually kind of helped hydrate my under eyes a little bit so it's not as bad as it was but anyway like I mentioned earlier all of the products that I used today will be linked in the description box in case you're interested in trying any of them out thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed please don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up I'm about to film my very first project pan well it's not my very first project pan but it's like <laughs> it's it's a project pan video um which isn't really my specialty so i'm really excited about that it's a skincare one so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that i love you guys so so much i hope you all have a wonderful day and i will see you in the next one bye